Well, my name is Jasmine Garcia and I live in the state of Oregon in the United States. Today we are going to talk about water. Water is all around us and is very important, not only for humans, but for animals and plants as well. Did you know water covers 71% of Earth's surface? You might think of water only as a liquid like this, but it actually comes in other forms as well. It is constantly moving around us. Let's find out more. Water is the most important liquid on Earth and is found all around the planet. It covers 71% of Earth's surface and makes up our oceans, rivers, streams, and lakes. Water is essential for all living things. All humans, animals, and plants need it to survive. In fact, humans are made up of up to 60% water. Most of the water is stored in our blood and cells and it helps us digest food, transport minerals in our bodies, and regulate our body temperature. Animals also need water for survival. Not only do some animals drink water like we do, but some even call water home. There are many animals that live in freshwater and saltwater environments. Can you name some animals that live in water? Pause the video here and list three animals that live in water. Like humans and animals, plants also depend on water to stay alive. Water is a key component in photosynthesis, which is the process in which plants take energy from the sun and make food to grow. Humans use water for more than just drinking. What are some ways you use water? Pause the video here and list two ways you use water. Humans use water daily in multiple ways. We use water for cooking, washing, producing crops for food, for transportation and recreation, manufacturing products and goods, and as a source of electricity. Water is the only substance on Earth that naturally occurs in three physical states. They are solid, liquid, and gas. By increasing the temperature, the solid state can turn to liquid and liquid can turn to gas. We can also decrease the temperature to move in reverse from gas to liquid to solid. Here's water in its solid state, ice. Watch as it turns into liquid. The heat from the fire makes it melt. Do you see the smoke coming out of the pot? It's not actually smoke, it's water vapor, the gas state of water. You can find water in all three states around the planet. Liquid water flows in rivers, lakes, and oceans and gets soaked up by soil. Solid water forms glaciers, ice sheets, and snow. And water in the gas state floats around as water vapor in the atmosphere. It constantly changes from one state to another as it travels around the planet in a process called the water cycle. The water cycle describes the movement of water molecules as they travel between land, bodies of water, and the atmosphere. The cycle is never ending. Water molecules travel around the world continuously, changing from one state to another. Let's take a closer look at the water cycle. First, it is important to understand that the water cycle has no beginning or end. It is an ongoing process. However, we'll start with bodies of water. Heat from the sun causes liquid water in the ocean to turn to gas. This is called evaporation. The gas, known as water vapor, will float up in the atmosphere and form clouds in a process known as condensation. Once the clouds get too full with water, the water is released from the clouds and falls to Earth's surface as rain or snow. This is called precipitation. The rain and snow that falls will either end up back in a body of water or it can fall on land. If it falls on land, it can be absorbed by the surface soil and make it moist, which helps our plants grow. Or it can move further down and collect as groundwater, which can be used as drinking water. Here's a drawing I made of the water cycle. I included the three key steps, which are evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. 
Now it's your turn. Pause the video here and draw the water cycle just like the one on this screen. Why is the water cycle so important? We already mentioned how important water is to humans, animals, and plants for survival, as well as the different ways we use water in our daily lives. But did you know we cannot make new water? The water cycle recycles water, but it does not make or remove water. The amount of water we have on Earth is finite, which means there is a specific amount that cannot be changed. The water we have now is the same water present when dinosaurs were alive and will be the same amount present in the future. The next time you grab a glass of water, think of all the reasons water is so special. Water makes 71% of Earth's surface. Water is an essential component of life and a habitat for many plants and animals. Water is the only substance on Earth that naturally occurs in three states, solid, liquid, and gas. Water is a finite resource. Water recycles itself through the water cycle. Think of the long journey the water molecules in your glass have traveled. Your next drink of water could be the same water a caveman or Tyrannosaurus rex drank, and could be the same water your great-great-grandchildren will drink in the future.